Yo, what up, y'all, man? It's your boy, IDKTJ, man. You know, we back with another one. Today, we got my boy, DJ, man. I've been knowing this man since five. I don't even know, but since we was five, maybe like five, six, seven. I ain't gonna lie, boy. We been knowing each other for a while, but yeah. Today, we just doing a little low tape on him. So, the first thing I did was just pick his hair out real quick. And I combed down the little area that I'm gonna be fading. first step that I did was put in my guideline with my cordless detailers you know got to put the ball line in there first that's gonna most likely always be your first step it's putting your ball line in there then I came in with my two guard to shape the hair plus knock down the extra hair so I can fade it now I got on my one and a half guard to knock the hair down even more. Right now I got it open, but as you just seen, I, I just closed it to make to thin out that area to, so I can fade into it. Now we starting the fading process right here. I got the clipper with no guard on there, just going up by half an inch, maybe an inch. I don't really know. I ain't really too good with inches and centimeters, but yeah, I went up like half an inch with my clipper open and then to fade it out as you see me doing now I start with it halfway and go halfway up into the guideline and then to get that bottom line out I close it and flick up to that guideline but now we got on the one guard I'm just going up a half an inch again with the lever open brushing it down as I'm going with it and right there you just see me go against the grain to smooth it out a little bit Now right here we got the half guard on. I'm just getting out that line in between the the one guard and the clipper open. I'm just getting that line out, but I'm only using the corner of the uh, clipper though, because it's a tall. I mean it's a tight space, so you don't want to use the whole clipper, or you can push that guy line up. So you only want to use the corner of it to get that guy line out. But after I did that, I went back and did every last step because I didn't like how it was looking so I did every last step over again just trying to detail it to make it look how I want it to look so yeah Alright, so right here, this is like an advanced type technique that I'm showing y'all right here. You only, you, you got the clipper open, but you're only using like the, like the corner of it to like thin out the hair, like you got a thinning shear in your hand to detail the cut. But yeah, right here, I'm just doing the other side. I'm doing the exact same thing that I just showed y'all, but on this side. So yeah, I'm just speeding it up. Alright, so now we're on the back of the head, but if we being real, I'm basically doing the exact same thing that I just showed y'all on the side of the head, but on the back, but just in like wider space. So first thing first, you want to start with the guy, I mean with the uh, ball line with, with your trimmer. Then next, you want to come in with your two guard and shape the back of the head too. Like how you shape the side, you want to come back and shape the same thing, just like don't dig into it like like flick out like you see me flicking out right there like just flick out then you want to come in with your clipper open and make that first guideline then as you just seen me do i put it halfway and i closed it right there to get out that bottom guideline that you can't really see because like it's thin back there but you can kind of see it then i came in with my one guard to make my second guideline
Now I got all my one and a half guards shaping the hair up a little bit more, but trying to blend that that one guard that I just used up into all the, the thickness of the hair at the top. Just trying to blend it in, make it fade, basically. Now we got on the half guard to get out that line in between the one and the clipper open. Still using the corner of my blade, even though it looked like I'm I'm using the whole blade. Sometimes I'm not. I'm only using the corner because I don't want to push that guy line up. Now I'm showing y'all that same advanced technique that I showed y'all on the side using only the corner of the clipper to get the dark spots and now I'm just trimming the hair up to make it look like it's shaped up and stuff. Cause you don't want it to not be shaped up and look nice. Now that I'm done with that, it's time for the hairline. This is going to bring the whole cut together. First thing I do is for my got to be glue on now then just burst the hair down that I'm going to cut down with my one guard to get them like a little front little tapers type thing yep this is the one guard open right here one guard open Now I'm coming in with my trimmers and lining it up. You want to start in the middle. Don't never start on one side and go to the other. I always start in the middle. But yeah, you want to start in the middle and just take little taps around the hairline to make it straight. If you take too big of a tap, you might make it crooked. But yeah, once you get to the C cups, you want to use like half of your blade and go into it straight. And then that's when you want to use only the corner and curve it. Around the ear, you want to do the same thing that you just did on the C cup. Curve it, but you want to hold the ear down though, so, so you can get to see all the room. And when and when you're doing the neckline, do not push that line all the way up, because if you push it all the way up, then they're gonna need a haircut the next day when when their hair start growing back. So you don't want to push that neckline too far in, even though it's light, like how his is. It is light but you don't want to push it back and now I'm doing the same thing that I just did but on the other side This is what I was talking about when you do the C cup. Only use like half of the blade to like make that first little straight line. Then that's when you start using the corner to like draw the, draw the C. Like you actually drawing, but like with a but with a trimmer in your hand, basically. All right, now that I'm that, that I put the lines in there around the whole head, you can see all the imperfections. So now I'm just going back and detailing the cut. You always want to go back and detail the cut to make it the best cut possible. So that's what you see me doing now. I'm just using all types of guards. I'm using the the one and a half, the two, the the regular clipper open, the half guard, the one. I'm just going through a whole bunch of guards to make the, the cut look as best as I can all right but now that I'm done detailing the cut and making it look good before the enhancements I'm putting on enhancements I think he liked the enhancements anyway because like his hairline is kind of light so it's gonna make the cut stand out a lot more than if he don't like you can see the difference already like how the left side is darker 
in the right side because right i don't know his hairline around his whole head is just like i, I don't know why but yeah when i do enhancements i don't put that much on there like like it's dark like how i'm putting it on there now but some people be having it like it's like extra dark but like it's like just straight black paint i don't like to put mine on there that much i i like to put it on there just a little bit so it could have pop but yeah now i'm coming in with the fibers to make his hair look a little bit more darker but to make it kind of look like a real real hair is there that's what the fibers do the paint just make the hairline look good but the fibers make it like you got real hair but yeah after that i came in with my shaver i mean not my shaver my razor to make the hairline look a little bit more crispy and so i can get them in there Alright man, this is my boy DJ before the haircut. And this is my boy after the cut, man. Look at that nice low taper with the crispy line up, man. You can't tell me he ain't clean, man. But yeah, that's it for this video, man. Like and subscribe. Come back next week when I'ma have another another video out. And yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed share the video click another one that's popping up on the screen now and yeah man i'm gone